Well, you know, I think I'd actually like to rephrase the question because I think it's almost the other way around. It's not so much how leadership has affected my career and my life, it's how my career and my life have, have affected leadership and have caused me to grow as a leader. And when I think about it, I think it's really it's really in two ways. And the first way is through parenthood, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. And the second way is through being promoted, and actually being promoted into jobs where I actually didn't have the technical expertise to know what I was doing, which caused me to become a leader in a rush and a hurry. So uh, talking about parenthood, my husband and I are parents to four children. They're grown children, adult children and they now range in age from 33 to 18. But certainly it wouldn't have been unusual in the space of a very short period of time to be talking to one child about her marriage, another about moving out, another about how it was really necessary to eat more than peanut butter and bread, and a third about a new relationship. And you have to be a leader in that sort of circumstance. You're providing advice and you're looking after the whole of the family and creating uh, a sense of team within that family. So I think anyone who's a parent develops leadership skills. On the work front, um, you're good at a job and so you get promoted. And then horror of all horrors, you find out that you actually have to lead a team of people. And it can be a, a fairly daunting task because oftentimes you haven't had a lot of preparation in terms of people leadership skills. You're good at a technical aspect of your job, which was the reason why you got promoted in the first place. I can remember that one of the really key examples was when I was asked to take over the marketing team for an organization nationally. It was a terrific job and I was really excited at the opportunity. But I didn't know anything about marketing. Well, fortunately the team did. And as I developed and, and learned more about leadership, I began to realize that actually leadership isn't about me at all. It's about getting the best out of the team. And that made me much more comfortable as a leader. Because to be honest, I don't think I was a natural leader. If you'd seen me uh, playing in the playground as a young child, I wouldn't have been one of those um, children taking the initiative. I would have been one of those children on the outside being um, uh, waiting and being uh, hoped to ask to come in and play. So developing leadership skills happens as you go throughout your career and certainly that was, uh, that was my experience. A couple of other things on leadership that I think are really important. I think as leadership, as leader, when you um, continue and develop more leadership skills, you probably become more confident and that's a good thing. It does make you a better leader. Confidence and leadership go hand in hand, but not the traditional definition of confidence, not a, a brash uh, confidence. It's more the confidence to admit that you've made a mistake. It's the confidence to really listen, the confidence to change what you're doing if it's not working, or maybe even the confidence to get right out of the way and let the team complete the job. Um, I'd like to talk a little about integrity and trust. And maybe 10 years ago, if I'd been asked to talk about leadership, I may not have given integrity and trust such a, a, a prominent place. But I think that's really important. The analogy that I'd like to use is it's, it's a bit like rolling a really, really heavy, big rock up a hill. And if you don't do that on a platform of integrity and trust, you'll soon fi find that that rock is rolling back down on you. And unfortunately, it's not just going to roll over your current set of work. It's going to roll all the way back throughout your lifetime of work. So integrity and trust are, are crucial to the team environment that you're trying to create, but I think also crucial to you. Uh, as a leader. So something that really does have to be emphasized. So technology and, and leadership. Well, it's hard to imagine how today 
you could have an excellent business without having some grasp of technology as a tool to really make that business the very best that it can be. And this is whether it's a, a for-profit organization or whether it's a not-for-profit organization, every business that I'm involved with uses technology to really take it to the next level. So um, I can see that, uh, that technology is, uh, is important uh, in, in, uh, for a personal leader to have a grasp of. And certainly one example I'd like to give is uh, I had a career in financial services and uh, was very much involved as a leader during the point in time when online trading of uh, stocks and other financial securities was first uh, coming to market. And so this is a great example of technology not just trading or not just changing the way things are done, but in fact creating whole new businesses. So technology can have a really important effect. Having said that, leadership's about people. I do use a BlackBerry and actually it's an excellent point because right now I'm involved with a number of different organizations and I could never be a leader in all those organizations without electronic communication. It's not like being in two places at once, but it's the next best thing. So uh, technology is a form of communication, absolutely vital to me personally, uh, love it. Still though, sometimes technology and communication kind of get in the way of leadership. Maybe it's too fast, uh, not enough quality, living life in sound bites, that's a difficult environment to lead in. And I think too, uh, probably a difficult environment to develop and grow the leaders of tomorrow.